I was born when apples and blackberries were just fruits. People met and spoke. Didn't just have WhatsApp groups. When the oceans and the seas were as blue as the sky. And the sky was so clear that birds could freely fly. I was born when the trees didn't regret that they couldn't move because they didn't feel the threat that they would be removed. When animals had rights to live as freely as we do without animal rights movements to fight for their due. I was born when the air was crisp, not just shirts. The ocean was not dumped with all of that dirt. Plastic was rare and so were plastic smiles. Everything was real and the soil was fertile. I was born when the earth and nature were called mothers, treated with utmost respect and love. What to speak of others? Pollution was a term, maybe used for thoughts. Clean water, food, air was not a luxury to be sought. I was born when green was a color for grass and trees, not for buildings, councils, conferences and committees. When passion and compassion went hand in hand, we cared for all, whether life, land or sand, what have we done to the world as a human race, ruined our natural resources simply to keep up our pace. We have used our smart brains for a lot of gain by creating smartphones, smart cities and smart trains. Our touch screens have put us in touch with one and all, but have we lost touch with mother nature? And could that be the start of our downfall? With artificial intelligence, we try to fix everything. Could we also use our natural intelligence to fix our surroundings? I wonder if it is all just a dream now. Can we ever go back to that time? The question is how? Let's not keep selflessness a word in the dictionary. Let's care for all life. Surely not a thought so revolutionary. Why should natural environment just be holiday destinations? Why not start the cleanup where we live and recreate that fascination? One less plastic bag used daily? Is it all that hard? Few minutes of aircon switched off every now and then can bring us a great reward. Can we walk if it's a short distance or just take a bike? Avoid driving our car and add to the carbon spike. Can we use paper sparingly and possibly recycle the ones we do and try to protect our trees if we can't plant anew? Can we stop using animals for our convenience? They have feelings too. If we were to be used by others, how would we feel and what would we do? It's probably not all that late. And green is not just about a revolution. It is the most vital aspect for our survival and our evolution. Let's all work to make the world a better place. Let's conserve so we can gift our future generations a life that they deserve. Let's not forget that we are just temporary occupants in a permanent place. Let's be responsible residents and start living with grace.